Good morning! I'm doing my university tour today and it's raining outside. I'm dressed in white, not a great option. This is the tram I regularly take and it will drop me right in front of the university. It is so gloomy today. Here's the view I took on a nice weather day. The sky is so pretty. You can see the uni from here with a big ball above the building. So I'm studying sociology at Alte or at Bush Loran University. I don't know if I pronounced it correctly. Alte has many faculties located throughout the city. Mine is social science faculty at the Buddha side. It takes me around 5 minutes walk after getting off the tram and this is a football and basketball court. Oh my god, the leaves are slowly falling down like in a romantic movie. And yay, we have finally arrived at my faculty. The first thing you'll notice when you enter is the giant earth ball which is the most favorite thing for me in this building. And as you can see, a lot of students wearing lab coats because this building combined both faculty of science and social science. Then I realized I had class in another building in front of this one. So we were just passing through and that's the uni board informing students about upcoming events. Please excuse me for using footage from a sunny day. It's raining cats and dogs right now. Here it is, the Faculty of Informatics. And their hall is just breathtaking. I occasionally attend classes at this faculty depending on the course and this is the lecture class which is more than 50 students in each class. Here are my juniors from the same country, Namfun, Chita, and the one in the middle is not. Haha, <laughs> smooth disguise. In the lecture class, we will mainly listen to the professor speak and then we take some notes. Unlike the seminar class, the students are limited to 20 persons and engage more in discussions and practical skills. The professor will check your attendance, so if you don't want to fail, don't miss the class. We have finally finished the class for today and we have to pass through our faculty again on the way to the tram so we can film the rest of the campus. This is our faculty student office and this is our main hall where we have a stage set up right now. This is how it actually looks like absolutely amazing with our logo in the center. This campus has seven floors each with workspace for students to discuss and work on individual or group projects. We came back to the Earth Bowl, so this is the end of our social science faculty tour for today. I have to run some errands after the class at Calvin Tear. There is one LT campus in this area, which is the Faculty of Law, and I will take you guys there when I finish my work. So. On the best side, the majority of the Aote campus will have this European architecture in contrast to my campus, which is more of the modern style. Oh, the weather is so awful. Let me put some picture I took in autumn on my first year here. Beside the faculty, there is also a student office where they deal with issues involving students' information such as students' cards, student certificates, and etc. However, this one has more LTE items in the shop and it closed an hour ago. 
what an unlucky day for me I'll show you guys my old video instead You can see I'm a big fan of my uni Today's final destination for me is the library. It is very close to one of the Alte campus, as you can see here, and that's it. I'm kidding. <laughs> I will show you the front building a little bit. And I think this is two faculties next to each other. Faculty of Humanity and Faculty of Philosophy. Okay, done! Now head to the library. On my way, I also found Alte Faculty of American Studies and also Faculty of Economics and Finances. Turns out there are many faculties around this area, but I don't want to make another stop, so I'm just head to the library. Oh my god, is this the right one? It straights off of the horror movie. I'm just kidding guys. The library is super cozy on the inside and the owner is very nice and friendly. They have so many book genre here from LGBTQ to feminist theory and also something like masculinity sex and sexuality and then i found my favorite section which is personal development i picked up this book called healing your emotional self by beverly engel because i was captured by this topic of how your parents shape your self-esteem I stay there until it gets dark and then on my way back home I bought some beautiful flowers for myself for me it feels like an act of self-love you don't have to wait around for others to make you happy so these flowers are to remind that you are doing a great job for today be more kind to yourself and you deserve happiness so yeah Thanks for watching you guys, I hope you have a great day!